Hi River Bats, my name is Renee Esparza and I'm the Transfer Resources Director here at ACC. The Transfer Resources Department is available to help you explore universities so you can find your best fit transfer destination. We're available to help you as you apply to the university of your dreams. We offer events and resources aimed at connecting you with universities and preparing you for a successful transfer. We work with universities like UT Austin, Texas State, St. Edwards, Houston Tillotson, UTSA, Southwestern, and more. Transferring to a university can be intimidating, especially if you're not sure what you need to do. Luckily for you, we're here to help. While some universities have different requirements to apply as a transfer student, most of them look at the following criteria. Completed courses. To apply as a transfer student, you need to have completed a set amount of transferable credit hours. This can range anywhere from 12 to 30 hours. GPA. You'll want to make sure you meet GPA requirements. For more competitive schools, they may not state a set GPA, but that means you should strive to earn the best GPA you can. Competitive institutions might also ask for essays, resumes, and letters of recommendation. All three of these are ways to show the admissions panel who you are, what you've accomplished, and why you're a good fit for their institution. One thing you can do to really make your application stand out while also preparing you for the academic rigor of upper division coursework is joining ACC's Honors Program. Here to talk a bit more about that are a few of the program's Honors Ambassadors who have all successfully transferred to a university. What's going on, River Bats? My name is Elliot Coffey, here to give you some brief insight on how joining the ACC Honors Program helped me to transfer here to the big red doors up on the hilltops of St. Edward's University. All of the Honors courses are debate-oriented and actively encourage students to be participants in the learning process. This provided me with a unique opportunity to constantly be sharpening and honing my communication skills, the very same skills that are going to be absolutely crucial to your success when you start the transfer process. Aside from transferring, these communication skills are going to serve you in every domain in life after college. So I encourage you to start now. Dive into an environment that's going to help you cultivate skills that are going to last a lifetime. That's all I've got for you. Appreciate your time. I'm going to hand it off to another honors ambassador, Precious, who is in the process of transferring herself. Have a good day. Hey there, I'm Precious, an Honors Ambassador, previous HSO officer, and an Honors student here at ACC One Now. I'm a Longhorn, and I'd like to speak about how the Honors Program played a pivotal role in my transition from ACC to the 40 Acres. Being a part of the Honors Student Organization showed me a different aspect of the Honors Program, leadership. I believe having the chance to delve deeper into subjects in the classroom and then going outside of the classroom to do more helped shape me as a person and as a transfer student. But it doesn't end there. The Honors Program provides its students with different opportunities outside of the classroom, like the YCS Fellowship Program and the internship at UT. The Honors Program is true to its motto, celebrating curiosity each and every day, outside and inside the classroom. And here is my colleague Sammy with her transfer experience. Hey Riverbats, I'm Sammy and I am the Ambassador Coordinator for the Honors Program and I transferred to UT in 2019. Something that really strengthened my application to UT was that I was able to include two letters of recommendation from Honors Professors. When you're in a classroom of like 10 to 15 students, um, you really get to have discussion time with your professor. They know who you are. So when it comes to application time, they can really tailor something, you know, and help the admissions know who you are. And I think that really separates you from like the thousands of other students that could be applying. Now that classroom size as well, I think comes into play in preparing you when you transfer into these four-year institutions. Um, at UT now, I rarely have exams. Almost everything at the end of the semester is just a written um, research paper about you know some field that you're passionate about. I think the honors program really helps to prepare you to write these papers. And um, because you're in a smaller class setting, you get more one-on-one -on -one time with your professor. I am also excited to announce that the Honors Program has created a partnership with UT School of Education called the YCS Fellowship. 
What this means is that every year we will be choosing 40 students to take part in civic leadership and community building workshops at UT. Once you are qualified as a YCS fellow, you can then apply for paid internships through UT. Although being involved with the YCS Fellowship Program does not automatically guarantee you um, acceptance into UT, it does make you a more competitive applicant when applying to high tier institutions. I hope this information was helpful to you. Go to luck on your transfer journey and now I'm going to hand it over to Nick so he can talk to you about his transfer experience to Texas State. Bye! Hi! I'm Nick. I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience uh, in the transfer process from ACC to the McCoy College of Business at Texas State. So my transfer process felt a little daunting from the get-go uh, because I took my time in deciding what I wanted to do with my life. Uh, I started at ACC as pre-med, uh, then I went to general studies of science, and then I found myself as an art student, and then finally I decided on business. When I started looking around for schools to go to, I wanted to make sure that I would get into my top choice. Uh, and around that same time, one of my English professors, Dr. DuBose at the Round Rock campus, uh, suggested that I apply for the Honors Program and then enroll in his Honors American Literature II class. I applied, got accepted, and promptly enrolled in his class that spring, which was unlike any other class I'd taken at ACC. For starters, it was really small. There were maybe 11 of us, including Dr. DuBose. Uh, we did more reading and engaged in meaningful discussions about history and literature and social justice than in any other class I'd ever taken. Uh, we wrote three or so essays over the course of the semester and took a few quizzes here and there, uh, as opposed to the daily multiple choice quizzes and readings I'd come to expect from other classes. Um, but most of all, we honed our critical thinking and public speaking skills. I gained so much from that class, and it was instrumental in my transfer process. I applied to McCoy's somewhat late in the semester, uh, around May, uh, although I was fairly confident that I would be accepted because my transcript showed that I was an honor student, uh, I had a very diverse array of classes under my belt, and my essay showed that I took my studies very seriously. And I was accepted two weeks later. In short, the honors program can open doors for you. Between making your transcript shine and broadening your horizons more than you could possibly anticipate, joining the Honors Program is one of the best things you could possibly do to ensure your acceptance at your dream school. Thanks, Nick. Well, Riverbats, that's all the time we have for this video. Hopefully you found this helpful and reassuring as you plan to continue your progress towards a bachelor's degree at another institution. If you have any questions or want more information about the transfer process, visit our website to connect with our team. Thanks for watching. We wish you all the best in your academic journey. And don't forget, once a river bat, always a river bat.